my people what is happening what is what is actually happening right now is what we can't really explain i was woke up to this um, tragic news that davido has lost his son ifani the one he had with each uh, um, choma the girl he is planning on getting married to we all know that um, davido has decided to get married to choma and obviously there is a wedding that is coming up and today we woke up to this tragic news that they lost their son if I knew at their family swimming pool that is actually drowned at the family swimming pool this is really sad like seriously since I got the news I've been shaking not because I I know the child not because I'm close with any of them but it's so tragic to like you have a, a three-year-old drowning at the swimming pool a three-year-old um, dying like that without without doing anything. I mean, this is just a child who has not even started life, and yet we have to lose this child in this way. That's to me in particular. First of all, me in particular. No matter how many vlogs I've been to to verify if this is actually true or false, to me I still don't believe that this is happening. Everything is possible in life right now, but. There are certain things that the shock comes in a way that you ask yourself is if truly this is happening or not and i just want to say that if i until i get a video from davido's mouth saying that this child is dead i won't believe this story but as you have it i don't live in nigeria and so many people are confirming that the child is dead now something is not something is not really just tying about all of this why did the child or why I, I cannot I, in fact like seriously I'm just so confused right now I don't know is it mystical is it the fact that Davido chose to marry Choma is it the fact that other with the other women he has kids with are really not happy about the fact that he's getting married to Choma and not them I don't get it now there are so many questions I've been asking myself since I got this unfortunate news where were the parents where were the guidance? Where was the nanny, if at all the child has a nanny? Now, when it comes to kids playing at the swimming pool or swimming at the swimming pool, there are kids, there are kids, and even adults. Sometimes we have adults swimming at the swimming pool and you still have lifeguards around. Even if they are experts, you always have lifeguards around. Even the lifeguards, sometimes they get into accident doing their job or in the water as well, but they are professionals, they are experts. Now, how do we leave kids at the swimming pool all by themselves? How do we leave kids at the swimming pool without people or with people we who don't know how to swim? Because to me, you don't leave kids like that. You have to be careful with your kids. You have to be seriously, seriously careful with your kids. Who was there with the kid? Maybe somebody who couldn't even swim. Maybe somebody who don't know how to swim. Or as all of us are thinking right now, no, we cannot say this is God's time for the child. We cannot say God actually decided to do all of this, but we cannot question him when things like this happen. Be it mysterious or I don't know, like... This is not funny. This is not fair at all. This is not just right because that is just a three-year-old child losing his life like that because of a swimming pool. It's fun, yes, at the family compound. How come he was alone or how come he was with someone who cannot swim? Or was it that they were considering the child to be an expert and they left the child there all by himself? Now, we have to be watchful. We have to be very careful with our kids. Especially as we live in a world that is so full of evil, a world that is so full of jealousy, a world that is so full of all the bad things you can name. You don't just leave your kids like that. You don't just allow your kids to do what they want because you're excited, you love your kids so much, you want them to be happy, you want them to do what they want to do. Please, guys, this is so sad if actually it is true. Because right up till now, I still don't believe it's true. I still don't believe the kid is gone. The world is full of jealousy. The world is full of a lot of people who claim to love you and they don't love you. And when I got it, that it happened at the, the family swimming pool. Davido didn't come out to announce that his child is dead. So definitely a family member must have done that. Because it's not like a family swimming pool has um, people, other people inside. Or maybe there were other people who could not even just wait for us to get a full story on whether the child survived the drowning or the child actually died because now you guys have just confused us but we pray like all the whole media is like oh davido's son is dead i will just say let's pray for the family and pray for the child
so that we can wake up from this nightmare and have it that no, the child is not there, the child is fine. Like this is not fair. But we have to take care of our kids. We have to make sure. Water is not something you play with. Fire is not something you play with. Hot oil is not something you play with. That is why we chase them away whenever we have such things around us. We chase them away. Go. It's better with an adult. At least you are strong. You are big. Certain things you can stand them. And you can be able to know how to, to save yourself from certain situations. Water is no one's friend. I for one, I'm so scared of water. But I don't know how to swim. But I love the beach. But I'm so scared of water. So I always know my limits. I don't even dare to exceed my limits. Then top less of a child who doesn't even know anything, who doesn't even know, the child knows that definitely when our kids are, are jumping all around, they know they have the protection of their parents. They know they have some elderly people around them who are so protective. So they will just do things. They don't even think the way we think. So how come we leave our kids if that is, I'm not saying that's what happened, but if that is the situation, how come, how come this child drowned with adults around the house, with adults in the house? How come? Like this is not fair at all. This is not fair at all. Or is it that some people, since we know a lot of mysterious things are happening these days and a lot of people don't want other people, these people who are beside, there are a set of people, right? And they say everyone around us, so many people around us, our circle and all that, they are our enemies. We call them frenemies. We call them frenemies. So are they surrounded with frenemies? Are they surrounded with frenemies that, no, oh gosh, this is so sad, like seriously, it's so, so, so sad. And like I said, I just pray we wake up from this one to know that it is a night, it is just, um, it is just a nightmare, like the child survived and the child is doing fine, I pray so. I saw on, um, which block is this and someone commented and said the child is fine but we know sometimes people just put their comments there because they want to be extra they want to be neutral but we pray these comments that are coming up that the child is fine the child is doing fine it's just a confirmation from davido that the child is fine davido please come out and tell us that the child is fine so all of us can breathe and say thank you lord for saving his life thank you lord for sparing the parents like Oh, God of mercy. This is, this is not good at all. It's not good at all. If actually this child died, it's not good at all. I just feel like this is an innocent child that has not gone anywhere. This is, this is an innocent child that had life in front of him, that had years to come in front of him to be a great somebody. We know it's a, a, the son of a superstar, a very rich superstar. And some of these, our frenemies, will not even want the child. You know, when I was growing up, I had, we had one very rich kid. That the parents loved her so much. I used to admire, even as an as, as a child as well. I used to admire the way bulk, the way she was bulky and all that. And this child, they had to disappear. This child. mysteriously, this child died without being sick, without anything, and the parents were so devastated. That is the way we're living. So many people don't want you to be happy. So many people don't want to see your happiness. And so many people look at your children and look at the wealth that the parents have and say, oh, so this child will be the one to benefit from all of this. And bam, bam, bam. Yeah, our mysterious people and our enemies will just like do what they can to just like out of jealousy to make you not to get to that point that you're supposed to get to. Well, if actually the child is dead, we say, our condolences to Davido and Choma, and we say rest in peace, little one, though you didn't have to go rest now for not doing anything. Guys, let's just keep praying for the family, and until my next upload, it's your black diet.